Hello, friends. I'm today with my friend, Sam O'Halloran. My name is Sam. I run an advertising agency called Client Generators. We help info products grow and scale through paid ads and funnels, mostly Facebook, a little bit of YouTube. And yeah, looking to build the agency, get a bigger client base from inbound leads from Twitter. So can you tell everybody listening, which problems did you have before we got involved and started working together and which impact did they have? Yeah, so big problem was just getting consistent leads in through outreach. You know, I'd done the usual cold email, really had no success with cold email whatsoever. I don't even think I've ever signed a client from cold email. Um, Most of my success came through Instagram DMing people, but it was slow, inconsistent, and I felt like a lot of the big leads list that I had had dried up. So yeah, I didn't have a consistent flow of new clients coming in. So probably before I joined the program, for the good few months before that, my income was basically stagnant because I wasn't signing new clients and I didn't have a way to generate bookings on my calendar every single week. Awesome. So what was the income before and what was it after and what impact did that have in you? Yeah, so income before, um, we have profit share deals with a lot of our clients, so it can fluctuate, but I was anywhere between like 10 to 15K a month before. Since joining the program, I think my biggest month has been 26K. Um, So yeah, impact on that has been, I've actually signed clients that have been super valuable so before previously i've maybe signed lower value clients that have been worth like i don't know like one to two k a month for us Uh, but some of the clients that we signed from twitter have been like five to six k in a single month so um less work more money which is dope how's the quality of those the clients you come through yeah 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 like perfect ideal clients um i mean a couple of them for example the first one we signed actually from Twitter, they had like one point, I think like 1.3 subs on YouTube. So like a big, massive personal brand, which is like perfect for us because we help, you know, coaches and info products. So they had already like a big name in the space. So it was like easy for us to get results. And it just, yeah, it was like a perfect client. So, and obviously on the call as well, it's super easy because they're like inbound. So usually when you like do cold email, you get on the phone, they're a bit skeptical still. They don't know who you are. They don't trust you. But the sales calls are like super easy from Twitter inbound because they're qualified and they respect you. So it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It's almost like they're grateful sometimes to be with you. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a totally different framing. Like the dynamic of the call is completely different. They're like, grateful for the time they've had to speak with you, which isn't usually what you get from like cold outbound stuff. So it's cool. Yeah. So even when you didn't have that huge of a following, I've seen some of your tweets, you've hit 1500 and 1600 likes in your tweets. Can you explain why do you think that worked? Because I had a plan (laughs) and I knew what I was doing. Like before I joined the program. I was probably on Twitter for like six plus months and, you know, I'd get like one or two likes on my tweets. So I just didn't know what content to put out or I didn't have a strategy with content creation. So um, yeah, after joining, understanding what to post, how to post it, what network to be in. Yeah. It kind of like flew. Yeah. So you did something that's a little bit unusual for the program. You went on YouTube and your, your first video I think did pretty well. You want to talk about where the idea came from and what were some results of it? Yeah. So I kind of got addicted to like, I've never done any content creation really at all. I've been doing business now for like six ish years, never really started building a personal brand. So this was the first time I did it. And then I was enjoying doing the Twitter stuff. So I was like, you know what? I've always thought about making YouTube videos. So uh, yeah, I started to do that as well. Um, And I asked you guys for like content ideas and you started talking about, well, you should maybe like start like funnel hacking people or like dissecting other people's businesses. You know, I even did one for you where I was like, Hey, if I was to run ads for you, this is, you know, this is the plan that I would do. 
uh, but I did one for Homozi, broke down his gym launch funnels. And yeah, I did like seven, something like 7.2K views right now. Um, so not only did the idea come from you guys, but also I promoted it to the Twitter audience. So when I launched the YouTube video, obviously I launched it to Twitter. It got thousands of comments or retweets. I can't remember which one. So that just shut it up in the algorithm for YouTube. So like I only had at the time probably like 200 subs and it had like six, 7K views on the video. So first video too. Yeah, it was the first video to hit that many views. It wasn't like the first ever video. Oh, okay, okay. All my videos before that had like, you know, a couple of hundred views, nothing crazy. Uh, but that was like the first one that I launched with Twitter. And the first one like, like completely took off. That's actually sick. And yeah. one thing I also wanted to talk to you about, and I didn't tell you this before the call, I asked you, like, Sam, how much do you think you've grown? And you told me a number and the number is actually higher. So over the past 30 days, I don't know if you knew this, but I did the math and you'd be growing at more than 100 followers a day. You have 3,289 followers. That's more than 100 followers per day on the last 30 days in your Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Because the, th the thing is, as well, I see you had no clue. And I, cause I'm not actually on Twitter that much, even though like I'm tweeting every single day and there's like content coming out my ears and I'm like doing threads every single week because of the structure, I don't actually spend that much time on Twitter. So I actually don't really check my followers, like in terms of like the notifications. So yeah, I actually had no idea it was that much. Yeah. I thought maybe like a couple of thousand, like in total extra, uh, but yeah, I hit 10 K the other day and now we're at like 10.6. So it's pretty cool. That was like a week, no? That was like a few days. Yeah, I think, I can't remember when it was. It was the auto DM that we did over the weekend and it shot me like well over to like 1K. I think I went from like 9.6, 9.8 to like 10.6 in a few days after the last auto DM. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I spent like months trying to get like a couple of hundred. So to like get like a thousand new followers in a couple of days is stupid. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you get too much dopamine, you want to turn your phone off, but then you just but, don't. Yeah, well, I actually don't even have the app on my phone. So, like, that's what I mean. I'm not even on Twitter that much. I don't even have the app on my phone whatsoever. I literally just log in. I've already got tweets scheduled and stuff. So, I actually didn't take hardly any of my time whatsoever. And it's like the main income source for the agency. Awesome. Yeah, I hardly even check the notifications, honestly. I'm a bit on my browser, like, throughout the day, but I, I don't spend that much time on it. That makes me happy. It actually does. <laughs> uh, is there uh, something that almost stopped you from signing up with us? I honestly, like, I don't know if you remember the call that we had together, but I was pretty, like, sad. I was, like, probably, like, the first person, I think, even to, like, jump in, I think, um, out, out, out of everything. But... Um, in terms of like what stopped me, I'd never invested in a program that was like this in terms of like, hey, we're going to get you clients from this specific platform. I'd never created content before. Um, I suppose before I joined the program, I was a bit skeptical whether I could get the quality of leads from Twitter. So like typically for our clients, the like, big following slash influencers. So they've got like, usually our clients have like millions of subscribers on YouTube, or they've got like at least a couple of hundred K on Instagram. So me, I beforehand, I was thinking, I'm not sure if those people are hanging out on Twitter. And if so, are they going to follow me? Because I didn't know if they were like going to be like engaging on Twitter or with like a small account count like myself. So that was like a few of the reasons why I was like, mm, I'm not sure if this is right for me. Maybe other niches, other businesses, it would work if I was selling like a course or something like that. But am I going to get high level business owners who have a lot of money engaging with my account when I have like 1K followers, you know? Yeah. Well, was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, again, the first client I ever signed had over a million subs on YouTube. And yeah, it was just... I couldn't believe it when I saw the Calendly and I like went and checked the, they put the social links 
And I'm like, okay, let me, let me check this out. And then I click on it and it's like 1.3 million subs. I'm like, dope. <laughs> and that was like a few weeks after joining the program. So I had like hardly any followers at that point. Cool. That's really cool. What's, um, what's the best part about working with us? Other than your banter? Um, I mean, just, I mean, it just works. I mean, that's, that's the thing. And it was quick. Like it wasn't even like a slow burner. Like you think like content creation, organic stuff is going to take a while. And obviously it is a long-term play, but uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we joined because I wanted results and I got results like within the first month, signed the client, first client within the first month. So the best part is that it works for sure. Thank you, man. And um, last question before I let you like promote, uh, tell where people can find you. But if somebody's in defense of working with us, what would you tell them and why? I would say, <laughs> I mean, from my point of view, if you're like an agency and you have tried, you know, all the outreach methods and you're sick of like purely relying like old email, cold email, LinkedIn, outward DMs, there's, it doesn't even compare that outreach strategy to like waking up and seeing like calendar notifications come on to your calendar from Twitter and then taking the calls and the people are like super easy to talk to and they're super respectful and it's just like an easy sale. So like, again, the sales process is just completely different. So if you're looking for a way to get better leads, more qualified leads, and actually do less work because you know I'm not doing any outreach right now really honestly on the other platforms I'm not doing lem lists or anything like that people are just coming into the calendar um, and then you just close them and it's fun building a personal brand it's like a long-term play as well so sick thank you man uh is there anything you'd like to promote or where can people find you no, nah, nothing to promote. Just I'm on Twitter. I'm trying to even think of my handle right now. This is how much, how little I actually use it. I just, oh, oh, Halloran it, uh, underscore oh, Sam. Sam. Yeah, oh, oh, Halloran underscore Sam. So O H A W L O R A N underscore S A M. But yeah, you can just connect with us on there. And yeah, that's it.